guys, my name is Ryan. I'm a tutor in the Econ Tutoring Center. Today I'm going to talk about deadweight loss from tariffs. And so remember, deadweight loss are a way of us measuring the social welfare loss from a particular policy. So typically we measure consumer and producer surpluses as our kind of general measure of um, how much benefit society is getting out of uh, you know, a particular market equilibrium or non-equilibrium in the case of you know, certain policies. Uh, but the idea is that when we measure deadweight loss, we're saying, okay, well, relative to the perfect market equilibrium, how much is society losing? Uh, and so today I'm going to apply that idea to tariffs here, and I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Okay, so let's suppose that we have a country uh, that is engaging in world trade, their domestic demand, and let's say that the world price is right here at, let's say, uh, $2. Right, so this is the world price. Remember, this would be what their equilibrium price is if they weren't engaging uh, in any world trade. So the idea is that, if you remember probably from earlier videos, this difference here, so let's call this 10, and let's call this, say, uh, 2. This difference here, so 8, is how much they import. And this little triangle down here is the domestic producer surplus. So producers are producing two items, they're selling each one for two dollars, but for these any units below that they would have been willing to sell for uh, you know fewer than two dollars. Uh, and so this right here gets them surplus. Right? If you want a refresher on how that works, you can go look at some of the older videos. Um, the idea here is that the consumer surplus in this market, when they're engaged at free trade at a world price of two, because two dollars is considerably lower than the equilibrium price, and because they get to buy ten units as opposed to what they would in equilibrium with no trade, their consumer surplus is this entire big triangle here. Right? So they get to buy all ten units at this price of two dollars, even though what this demand curve says is that they would have been willing to pay um, up here for all these earlier units, right? So this entire big area up here is the consumer surplus when they're engaged in free trade. Um, but now let's suppose that the government decides that you know to protect domestic industry or whatever, they want to put a, a tariff on the import of this good. So let's say they put a one dollar tariff on, and let's say that this becomes I mean, the price in the world plus a tariff. Right, and let's say this is just a one dollar tariff, so this shifts this curve up by one dollar. Okay, well, so what's the new producer and consumer surplus? So let's say they consume, I don't know, say eight units, and domestic producers produce four. Um, what we have if we extend this now is because now domestic producers are producing four, selling them for three dollars each, right? They get this new, slightly bigger triangle, right? So Maybe I'll draw this. The, the black was the old down here. And now we added some. Right? This is the additional producer surplus that's added. So now it becomes this whole big triangle right here. Consumer surplus, on the other hand, shrunk. Right? It was this big triangle here. Right? But now they're only buying eight units and they're paying three dollars each. So now their new surplus um, is this green area right here, right? And they lost this whole bottom thing. So let's take a look at what they lost, right? So this amount that was added to producer surplus was just taken away from consumer surplus. So that's a wash, right? Consumers used to have this big triangle. Now they're at the smaller one. Producers took up this extra chunk here, right? So this is a wash. So now what we have left are these three triangles here, right? So the first one, the middle, this doesn't actually contribute to the deadweight loss, right? Because this middle box here is actually the revenue that's raised from the tariff. Because remember, previously we imported eight, the 10 minus two. Now we import four, eight minus four and we get a one dollar tariff for each unit, right? So we charge, we get, the government raises a one dollar tax on each four of these imports. So this is 
one dollar times four equals four dollars in tariff revenue. And this is not considered part of the debit loss because it goes to the government and the idea is that the government redistributes it to the people somehow, right? So it's not just a net loss, that's money going somewhere. These two triangles, on the other hand, are considered deadweight loss. So I'll use black to denote that. Um, so this triangle right here, and this triangle right here, they're actually called the consumption and production and efficiency losses sometimes. But these two make up the, the net loss uh, to society from adding this tariff in. So previously we had this entire sort of, I can outline the whole thing, this was consumer surplus and this was producer surplus and now we only have uh, after the tariff the total amount of surplus in the economy is only this box here for consumers, right, this box here for producers right and this box here for tariff revenue right we've effectively just lost these two little areas of the graph and that's what the uh, deadweight loss or sometimes called the social welfare loss from this tariff is so even though maybe we put this tariff in place to protect domestic producers or something because we did increase the producers uh, surplus we had a net loss from the economy in doing so in the form of these two boxes here if you have any other questions about tariffs, deadweight loss, or anything else, uh, come visit us in the Econ Tutoring Center.